Hello everyone, welcome back to Trev Dog Gaming here on YouTube. We we're in the game Grounded, and this is now episode 32. Look who showed up! We have a bee! If I can get him over here, he's a... Oh. <laughs> Jeez, uh oh. That got him. Is he coming? He's coming! Oh, he's a bit angry. Now, can, can I get to him without him damaging me or it too much? And will he get inside the base? I don't... Oh, he does do some damage. Hang on. I fell downstairs. Gee whiz, okay, he's right right there. That took about six arrows or something to kill him. That wasn't that bad. Hmm. Well, it kind of works, but you know what? You really do need some... See, look at that. He hit that, and it's done, what, 40% damage? And that's stem. A bit of bit damage everywhere, actually. <laughs> I need a repair tool. But it did work. That's probably not the best way of getting down, Truth. And I've come back into the game, <coughs> they were there, it hit, like this bee was right above my base. I can't see the wolf spiders, so in one way it was probably a good thing. What's the easiest way of getting down here without breaking a leg? Probably just wander all the way down. Oh dear. Oh well. That kind of worked alright. I've dropped an arrow on this side. I don't want to miss out on getting his carcass, though. Let's see what I get. Really? Just the beefers? No way! Oh my god, it was the beefers! Oh man! Oh well, I guess, yeah, you're gonna have to harvest a few of them. Sorry, dude. Kinda like the bees. A bit like the ants. Um. No, okay, I would have lost a lot of arrows throwing them into the distance. Maybe one day I'll see them again, I have no idea. Oh, wow, okay. I better go get my repair tool and repair the base, I suppose. Oh, well. Um, yeah, it kind of works. I mean, at least he didn't... Well, I don't know. It's only one B. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, away comes the repair tool, which... We can put in there because I've taken out that. Where's the um did I have one for bees? I did. I should go and uh get that analyzed actually. Yeah, I might keep that on me. I might go and do that. Um Let me just grab There's some no water. Crime, than go over and fix the base. Hang on a second, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. If, uh, hmm. Uh, it'd be under tools, wouldn't it? The repair tool. What's it cost to make it? Oh, it's not that expensive, hey. I might make another one. Oops, I'm just thinking. I. I, 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 I. Might keep the new one back here. I'll take this one over. I mean, it's, you know, it's only just barely worn. It's not too bad. What the? Why is there an arrow just there? I'm not going to climb up, am I? I am. I didn't think I could climb up here. Well, that's alright. So I just climb up to here and use the leaf to jump up to the base, I suppose. Oh, that's not... wow. That was a bit lucky, Trev. You just <laughs> almost fell all the way down. Alright, let's see. Um, take five times to fix that. What else did he smack? Uh, I think he did all this damage. Not 
seeing. Oh, there you go. I'm not sure if he did do all this damage or whether some of it was damaged before, but. Yeah, I can't. Because, I don't know. It's not like he throws out a gas or anything. I could be wrong. Anyway, she looks. What's doing that? That red is coming through the. Hang on. How come there's an arrow up here? Hmm, it's a bit bizarre. Oh, well, it looks like it's fixed. I'm going to leave the repair tool in here, which is a good thing. Uh, this is empty at the moment, so where's my repair tool? <sighs> um, 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 hang on. Take that out. Uh, no. I think I had that like that before. Hang on. Go back to something else. Now I'll put it in there. It wears down, but it doesn't cost anything to repair anything, if that makes sense. Okay. Alright, well... Well, hang, hang on, just just say, for example, we're here, and we're supposedly harvesting bees, right? I think you really just have to be lucky that one comes past close. And then you just risk it for a biscuit inside the the base, but really, if you get some good close-up shots, it's only going to take like five, six, seven arrows uh, using this bow. Um, and the arrows I'm using are basic arrows. They're nothing fancy. Um, yeah, I, I guess at the moment that's how I harvest them. Like I said, there seemed to be a lot more over where the flowers were. In fact, I've seen more around these flowers. Gonna not, have a look around. Not that I can see any really at the moment, but don't know. Maybe that's the redraw distance on the game. Don't know. Anyhow, it kind of works having a base like this that is strong enough to protect you while you're having a battle. I probably wouldn't want to do it if there was multiple bees, but hey, I wonder. No, I can't. I couldn't attack the beetle, could I? Because it'll go and hide behind the, and it's too hard to hit. I think. Hang on. Let me just give this a crack. Okay, shit. I don't know. I don't really have a defensive wall to protect myself, so... Oh, okay. Doesn't matter. It's not the sort of base for attacking lady beetles, I don't think. I don't believe. Anyway. Alright, uh, what we might do, though, is... I... I, 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 I... I think I might go over and analyse... Um, whoops. Go for a run over to the other base. I know... Or should I go this one? What are the chances of finding a spider down here? Oh, what? Is that the same lady beetle? Man, it gets around a bit. Alright, let's see. Can always get the all weave spider to attack the... See, I don't think there's any spiders in there anyway. Alright. Let's sneak in. It's much quicker. I am a little bit better protected and whatnot, I guess. Quick, let's go analyze. What do we got? What's it gonna do for us? Oh, is that all? A big man. Okay, how far up are we going? Uh, got 120 to go. So still a little ways to go, I suppose. Oh well. At least we know now. Whoop. Yeah, I gotta think. That's an ant. No orb spiders around. I hope there isn't. Little ants, fine. All with spiders, no. Okay. Okie dokie, let's go. Haven't really found... <coughs> 
See, I don't know. Where's the best place to attack a lady beetle to, hey? We kind of tried it up there. They just generally smash everything, so you got to be up high. Let me just grab some juice. Tastes good. Save the game again. Now that we've analysed that. If I stood... Like down here, for example. There's the little spider. Stupid dude. Um... If I was trying to fire from here, just from a post... I can still jump down from here, but... How successful is it? I probably need more arrows too, actually. Because when I go... Like, it's going to try to jump at me, right? But at the moment, it's kind of stuck. Because I guess it just keeps trying. I reckon I'm going to need more arrows. Was that... hang on, I didn't see that. Was that its little, um, I'm increasing my health thing again? I think it was. Ah, damn it, missed. <laughs> now the spider's seen me. Back off! Down to about half. I've got 47 arrows, so in terms of the number of arrows, I'm still okay, but it might heal itself yet. The spider's going to be a pain in the butt too, because it's going to be down there when I'm trying to harvest the goods, I suppose. I'm just like, look, can you imagine trying to hit the little orbs? Weave Spider Junior. One more. Oh, it's dead. Okay. So how do I get rid of Pumpkin Head here? Look, look at him. Well, actually, if you jump back enough and I get enough shots in, I might be able to. Come on. Ooh, might need another two. Maybe another two. No. Looks like I'm gonna kill it though. Yay! Now, can I jump down here? I've got my little dandelion tufts, so I should be able to. Okay, hopefully, there's no more guys around here. I think there wasn't a key where you just go soak up every single arrow in the area. Instead of having to run round and round and round. That should be it, I think. Just watch my own traps here. Well, that was kind of interesting. So I can do the lady biddles when I've got something like that that I'm standing on. Because it doesn't break. Which is a good thing. So here we go. Lady beetle stuff. She's at the end here. What did I get? Uh, three more lady beetle parts. Um, that's from the spider. Yeah, you... Oh, that's the bee fuzz I didn't put back down. Bee fuzz. Hmm. Okay, and the spider stuff. So the spider didn't give me that much, just a little bit of web. Hmm. Yeah, they're kind of... Little punk boys, really, aren't they, those guys? Rub time! A little bit of water going on. That was refreshing. Alright, we might save it again. Um, it's all a matter of trying to figure out where's the safest place to tackle these guys. I mean, that's the whole issue with those orb with the spiders, because they... I guess every time I see a lady beetle, and I've got about 70 arrows on me at the moment, I'm going to be able to tackle them. But that's if they're on this side. I see them a lot more, I think, on this other side of the base. Which is also the place with the stupid, um, stink beetles. Stink 
beetles appear, I should say. Um, okay, alright. And I guess at this time of the day... Oh look, there's a, there's a couple of bees. Alright, hang on. We're going to run over and see if we can attract another one. Hopefully, by the time I get there, they don't haven't buzzed off somewhere else. Jump, trip, jump. Yeah, this is what happened last time. I got caught out a little bit. Okay, so we've got seventy odd arrows. So let me just save it here again. Is it this time of the day they... or is it in the morning? I don't know. See, there's one way over there. Can I attract... oop! Another one over there. See, he's going over to those flowers. I don't know what the distance is for these things. Seems to be a long way away, doesn't it? I'm going to be eventually later on running through the bush going, Oh, look at all these arrows on the ground. It's not what you would call a real long-winded fight, but the sun's going down, though. Isn't that normally when bees in nature normally go to sleep? When the sun goes down? Who knows, maybe it's early morning I should be up here. See, there's one just there, but he's kind of gone back over towards the baseball base. I mean, I couldn't hit him from way over here, could I? I don't even know if the arrow really goes that far. <laughs> They're fairly easy things to make, so that's not really a problem. It's not really harvesting, is it? It's um, really just opportunistic, I suppose, isn't it? See, there's one there, there's one down. Yeah, that's that's just too far away, Trev. I don't know what you're thinking. Oh well. We came out and we looked. So we've harvested one, but that's not a lot of kit. Hang on. If I come back down here... No, it was where I had the workbench, wasn't it? I might as well go back home, I suppose. No wolf spider. I wonder if the wolf spiders will be back tomorrow morning. They might be. Yeah. Just be careful they don't come out, because it's getting dark, Trev. It's not that dark. Look out, dude! Look out! He's a bit scared. wonder if you're meant to feed your pets. I don't know. Poor dude. Uh, is it... is it... Oh, I mean... Grass growing through my base. Oh, there is a bit of food in here. Okay. Put some more light on the subject. What have we got? Which ones are about to go... I reckon I could consume yes, that. But I reckon that's going to be gone in the morning. Oh, it might be. It might not be. I don't know. Alright, can we go to sleep already and speed it up? I think we can... Yes. Yeah, that's going to be a long sleep. Oh man, oh, early morning, early morning, rise and shine, another morning in the grounded world, and I need food, ooh, it's just there, oh, he's not making any comment today, Max, eh, he almost always make comments about the food, chow down no and whatnot, women crying, but it's better than nothing. Is that a pedal or a lay beetle? It's a pedal. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
so okay this is early morning so doesn't isn't that when the bees are up normally it's when the ants are up attacking the weevils perhaps Do you reckon it's worth it? Maybe it is. I'll go up and have a look. Go back up here and just see. Any bees around? Any wolf spiders around? I can hear a lady beetle. Still don't see any wolf spiders in there though, hey? Maybe they take a little bit longer to appear. Yeah, it's a bit, um, very glary in the mornings, hey? Holy doolies, it's hard to watch. Sorry people, that's a, <laughs> that's a bit hard to look at. But, where's the little bees? Aren't they up early in the morning? Trying to get as much pollen as possible off the flowers and stuff? Where is this lady beetle that I can hear? Can't see any plant leaves moving, so it might not be over that side. I can see an ant moving around down there. Hmm. Gee, I haven't seen one one bee. Not yet. Um, yeah, certainly can't see the wolf spiders yet. Oh, hang on, there's a bee. It's an awful long way away though, Trev. Look at that, he's way over there. How much have I got in the way of arrows again? 71. Still got a fair few on me, but... So much better if the bee came over closer. The question is, where do they start from, and then where do they go, and when do they, where do they finish up? Back at the same place. I don't know whether Having that's. A little peep. No, that's just a flower. That's certainly a bee. Over near the paint tin on the veranda. I wonder if you can get right up onto the veranda and up on build a way of getting up onto the chair and onto that ledge. That would be funny. I don't think you can get onto the roof. How he, he's not he's definitely not that close though, is he? I shot the other one from a fair distance away. No others on this side? I would have thought there would have been more than just one bee. Oh, there's Mr. Crow. Way over there. Yeah, see, it's not close to the bees, really, is it? <laughs> maybe this is not the ideal location for bee har uh, harvesting. Hey, maybe I have to look into this more. I think you just... I thought I heard a bee just then. I I think you have to be lucky. Just for them to be around this area, I think. Well, that one's coming a bit closer. Ah! Stop wandering off! Stop moving, stop moving! Ooh. He's just a tad too far, I think. Hmm. <laughs> I can't hear the crow, but I can see the crow making those actions he makes when he's crowing away. Yeah, they're a bit too far away, I think. It's worth having a bit of a look, I suppose, but... Yeah, I don't think he's close enough. So what else do we harvest, then? If I can't attract the attention of the bee... 
Or is there a ter certain time of the day that the bees are attracted? I don't know. I don't think you can um, really defend yourself. Oh, maybe you can. Maybe I just haven't tried parrying or something yet. Blocking enough. There's some lunch. Ooh. Go down and get me arrow. Thank you. Oh, come on, Trev. Not that bad. <laughs> Eventually. up to. Looks like we're all busy harvesting stuff everywhere we can. What are you up to down here Mr. Ant? What's happening? Any stink bugs down here? Yes there is. Yes there is. Where is he? I can see the stink coming up. Where is he? Normally I can see him a lot easier than that. Hang on, where is he? Did he just take off? I saw the little gas thing come up, so I know he was just here. Oh no, there, there he is, there he is. Now, will we get a chance to hide? Where do you go? Huh? Where do you go? Oh, he's stuck. Carefully, he doesn't get going pretty quick. <laughs> Where is he? He is so stuck in here. Oh, I think he's bugged out into the log. All I can see is a tiny bit of stink bug stuck at the top of the log. If I can kill him doing this, I'll take it. <laughs> look at it, look at the tiny little window of opportunity. Oh, come on. All of a sudden he's gonna get going, isn't he? How do I kill him when he's stuck inside the... I might not even be able to get his stuff. Oh no. Just wait for the stench to go down. We also need some water too, Trip. No, 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 no. Ruck. Ruck, dude, ruck. That's it. I guess that will go all the way down here where he is. He's good. He was. Oh, well, I got um, most of my arrows back. And there is a bunch of mites around here as well. As long as there's no spiders. Holy dooly, that's a lot. Come on, dudes. No spiders? Come on dudes. When you 
coming up to play what? Apparently yes. Come on. You can jump higher than that. Look the ants after up there. Ooh, the aphid. There's some more lunch. What do you get? Admit, you're a bit annoying. Look out, dude. Well, I certainly got lunch for today. That's pretty cool. And I got some stink bug parts. Which is always welcome. Some juice running down the hill. Alright, let's have a look. Stinky bug parts. I picked up three more. Actually, getting a fair few of those, hey. Stink bug and bombardier parts. Which is always good. Um, let's chow down on this. Chow down. I just said that, Max. Now the mite fuzz, which is that, can go in there. I think I might grab a few more arrows. Where are my arrows? Around the other side. There they are. So I'll keep myself around 80 do that. I'll go up to the kitchen area if I can get past the dried grass that's leaning on me. And we cook up a few of those. We've got a bit more lunch coming in. Lunch and dinner. Any more bees hovering around? See, that's always going to be a problem. If I could see them really easily I knew what time of the day they came over. That would certainly make life a lot easier. Alright, let's grab a little bit more of the juice. Yeah, I don't... S oh, here you go. See, is it better for me to build some sort of area down here? I gather it would have to be out of stem stuff. I don't think I can outrun them or dodge them or anything like that. They're just too tough the bees. Unless I built a little bit of a base around here maybe at a stem on top of the grass. I suppose I could do that. It's another option. But does that always put me close enough to the bees or not? Like just one bee over there is not enough to do a whole bunch of building. I'd probably have as much luck as finding them. See there's one. <laughs> What exactly is he doing in the afternoon though? See, he's not far from the base there. Well, there's another one. So what is it? Like, maybe mid-afternoon or something? They seem to appear? See what I mean? Look out, dude. Coming through. Oh, he's chasing the aphid duo. See, he's right there. So there are times of the day when they do seem to appear. I've got no stamina. Fantastic. Let's see. If I go up, is he close by still? Huh? <laughs> is that the bee? Might have been. Hang on, don't go too far away. Ooh. Oh, come on, where's the arrow going? Am I too low, too high? I don't know. Hmm, he's a bit far now. Yeah, it's very, very hit and miss as to whether they're they come by close enough or not. Oh man, missed my opportunity, I suppose. Hmm, yeah. Not, not exactly something I can reproduce very easily. Wish there was a better way of getting rid of the lady beetle. They're a bit of a tough nut. That bee is right down there. 
Yeah, I don't know, people. I'm just um, I'm 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 showcasing to you my. I, I was hang on. I can see three bees now. Gonna have a look around. There's one down there near those flowers. One over there. One just went behind the tree. What is that? Is that a mosquito? Can you see that? Something really faint is flying around down there. That could be mosquitoes. How do we get over there though? There's our little bridge that goes over to the lantern. I wonder if we should build something over to these stone... kind of like pavers or whatever. And then we can make our way down to there. Make If we made a base down there, is that more likely to be closer to the bees? Because they... Oh, well, whatever they are. See, that's a bee, and that's a bee. But what's these guys? Are these mosquitoes? Yeah, okay, I don't know. That... That's not a doorway in there, is there? Oh, man, I probably need to go over there and explore. Have a better look. It does make sense though. If you're looking for bees, they'd be where the flowers were. And really, up here, oh, it's just hit and miss as to whether I see one that comes past here, I suppose. Still, the base is not a waste because I can certainly use it for um, harvesting the wolf spiders. Hmm. I'll certainly have to look at other ways of harvesting bees. Though, oh, it's just Lady Beetle. Gives you the willies when you see the big leaves moving around like that. You think it's a orb weaver or something. All right. Well, I don't know. Maybe another day has to go past before the wolf spiders come back for harvesting. I don't know. I was hoping there would be at least another um, another bee for harvesting. Hey. They're around, but they're just not close enough to me. What on earth is way up there, too? I've got to get up there, too. Oh, man, how do I do that? That's going to be a... a real exploration type thing, isn't it? That would be a whole day of exploring, I think. I think that's the lady beetle. See, he's way over near the baseball. That's where I'd harvest them before, but they were just like... Man, demolished the grass base. I mean, the last one here, as you saw, just did a little bit of damage to the stem stuff, but didn't technically damage anything. Like, didn't didn't destroy it, is what I'm saying. Certainly did some damage to the stem walls, but and, and ceilings and whatnot, but... When I did it to the grass base in another game, it was like devastating. <laughs> They're pretty tough. Oh, well, that's it. I don't think they're gonna come too close. Oh well, if anything, what's what's flying Let's over there? Let's see what's around here. I thought I saw. They just look to me like mosquitoes. Can you see that? Just very, very light brown, kind of coloured. Three of them running around over there. I thought they were up here. I thought the mosquitoes were up around this little, um, not what you'd call it, castle of some sort. Is that meant to be like an orc? Or something. Or a weird face. See, there's one just there. But they never stay still long enough. Hang on. He is actually fairly close. Ooh. I'm going to go through all my arrows. Nah. 
You're such a bad shot, Drew. Yeah, he's just too far away. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ow. Stay, 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 dude. I'm getting to this bee, but it doesn't seem to be working too well. Oh man. Listen, dude, you're just there. <sighs> be funny if that hit <laughs> right into the sun. You coming closer? Yeah, it's very, very, um,. I can't really reproduce it very easily because they're not... He's right over that lantern. And looking into the sun. Come over here. Come closer. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, come on, Trev. That's better. <laughs> he angry. He dropped some pollen then. Where are you, dude? Come on. Oh, he's getting angry. He's just there. Can I fly through there? I can't. Ow! Damaging the base, dude. Fair enough. Home delivery. There you go, I got the bee stinger. There's a lady beetle down here somewhere. <laughs> yep, not doing any lady beetle killing at the moment. So I got the stinger. Yay! Yay, finally. That took a bit of effort. Um, I take it I threw away a few arrows though. Can't do much about it though. Um, hang on. Where's my repair tool? Because, yeah, I'm going through the errors a little bit. Uh, let's just fix this up before we go home. I just want to have a quick look on the workbench again. Gee, where's Trevor? If you can hit the bee, like, straight on, I don't know, maybe you can just take them on like that. some pollen. Any other walls I damaged? Or he damaged? I'm so glad you can repair a lot of this stuff. And it doesn't use kind of, um, hang on. Go back to there. Um, So we'll put that guy back in there, we'll take this stuff back to the base. No wolf spider? No, it's probably a good thing. Alright, uh, we've got to go analyse this other thing, which I might do... Camera, can I get that? Yep, thank you. Where's the lady beetle? Oh, it sounded like... Oh, it wasn't Lady Beetle. Oh, I've got enough food anyway, I suppose, but... I guess force of habit. Alright, well... That was kind of not too bad. What was it I was looking for before? It was the Stinger Spear? Yeah, okay. Supreme Stabbing Apparatus. Okay. Compare it to the Peblet Spear. Uh, it's probably worth making it, isn't it? See, the Red Hand Club does a massive amount of damage, but it's very slow. Whereas that does quite a bit of damage, but very fast. Critical hit chance as well. Okay. 
Alright, well listen, um, hang on, where's my, the weevil stuff can go away, the bee stuff, I can put the pollen away, um, oh, I should go and, I'll have to analyse that first. Alright, what I might do is I, I might have to leave the episode here because it's getting a bit long, but, that was refreshing. I think what I will do is I'll, Analyze the bee sting and then make myself that extra stinger spear and then we can have a look at what that does down the track, I think. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to have to leave the episode here. Um, if you've liked what you've seen today, people, please go ahead and smash the like button. It'll really help the channel grow. And if you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Alright, thanks everyone. Cheers.